Hello Libra, I hope you're doing great wherever you are. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. Libra, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. We're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with facing in your life and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. Let's get to it. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Libra. For Libra's highest good, please. Your universe, please show us. What's coming up for Libra in their life? And how is Libra currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Libra in their life? And how is Libra currently doing on their soulmate journey? Let's see, Libra, what's popping? This is you celebrating some kind of accomplishment at your job or business. Yes, something to do with money, finances. Yeah, this is you being very proactive. Beautiful. It's like your wish coming true. Something that was of importance to you is coming uh, as wish fulfilled. You're wondering what your soulmate is going to do. This has been an on and off, on and off relationship. You're wondering what they're going to do. You're waiting to see if they're going to take action towards you. Hmm. Universe, please show us. You, uh, they're very slow, though. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Libra in their life and how is Libra currently doing on their summit journey. Look how beautiful your energy is. This is you being very proactive at your job or business. What's going on with your soulmate? Secrets are showing up here. Some kind of secret activity or hmm they up to something yeah you already know they up to something you are very weary this is you you know them well you feel that there's something they're not telling you hmm like you're wondering what they're thinking planning you're very guarded emotionally towards this person you are manifesting your desire that has to do with your work or business, finances. Good for you. Yeah. You're waiting to see what this person of yours is going to do. You really love this person. You want this relationship to work out. You really do. Yeah. You have the star showing up twice. You see, with whatever it is you're doing uh, a job or business and also with this relationship you want this relationship to work out but this is how you view them in and out of your life off and on off and on connection uh, you feel like this has been a toxic draining relationship you still love this person and you still have passion for them yeah you feel so emotionally unbalanced in this relationship like you feel drained emotionally you love this person a lot. Yeah, you have a lot of love for this person. And you're trying not to allow this chaotic relationship, uh, off and on relationship, affect negatively your work or business. Whatever it is you do for a living, you see this? You're trying to hold those pentacles and not lose them. This is you trying to stay focused, not allow this chaotic relationship confuse you or set you back emotionally or financially for that matter. Uh, you don't want to make any wrong decisions. You want to be very careful how you maneuver in this relationship. So it's an ongoing relationship that has been off and on, off and on. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Libra in their life and how is Libra currently doing on their summit journey? Yeah, you keep showing up three times as King of Wands already. This is you being fabulous. This is you being um, on top of your game. I love this. You are very good at what you do. People need you. Whatever it is you do for living, whether you have your own business or work for somebody else, you are a pro. You are 
uh, very connected with higher power. This is you being very passionate about what you do. A pro, yeah, people need you, yeah. You are very connected with higher power. Look at this, very connected, beautiful. Look how beautiful your energy is. You are an empress, whether you're male or female, nurturing, loving, caring, giving, charismatic, attractive, all that beautiful energy put together. You see all those animals here in nature? This is you working with higher power through nature. Um, I love animals and I love nature. Yeah. I love being in nature, away from people, in nature, peace and harmony amongst animals. I love animals so much. Yeah, this is you. Beautiful. Look how connected you are. How beautiful. Connected with higher power through nature. Yeah. How beautiful is this? Animals are part of nature. Wow. Beautiful energy to describe you, Libra. Universe, please show us what's going on with that soulmate of Libra that Libra has been dealing with. And how is that soulmate of Libra towards Libra this time, especially emotionally? What's going on currently with that soulmate of Libra? And how is that soulmate of Libra towards Libra at this time, especially emotionally? The soulmate you've been dealing with. Oh boy. Let's see. Extra message, very important. They love you a lot. Oh, yes, they do. This person is in love with you, but you see the cups are empty. This has been a very turbulent relationship, off and on, off and on. Breaking up, coming back together. Breaking up, coming back together. Yeah, you see this? A lot of deep emotions that are unsettled because this water is everywhere except in the cups. You see, this is mm, kind of toxic relationship. They want to see you so badly. They want to gift you with something. This is them feeling a great need to see you, spend time with you, because they feel deep emotional, spiritual connection with you still. Be careful who you trust with your personal information, Libra, because there are some people around you and around this person that like gossip, like drama, have very messed up lives. And they want to see drama in everybody else's life around them. So be careful who you trust with your personal information, who you ask for advice. Yeah, honestly, you don't need anyone's advice. You already know what's best for you. Nobody knows what's best for you. You know what's best for you. So you need to trust your intuition. Yeah. Yeah, this person recognizes that this has been a turbulent uh, with a lot of breakups, ups and downs emotionally. Um, and yet the two of you still love each other. Let's see their subconscious position. Wow. Uh, this person wants a new beginning with you, but they're so scared of this new beginning because they don't want to, again, go through the same situation as in the past or recent past between you two. Universe, please show us. They don't want the history to repeat itself. Universe, they're scared yeah, of suggesting that they want a new beginning even though they want it, because they're scared, uh, not so much of your reaction, but that uh, it's going to be the same situation as in the past, the same outcome. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that summit of Libra. They miss you a lot. Look how sad, empty they feel without you. They feel so sad, alone. Ah, this is them scared emotionally of getting hurt yeah this this is them feeling they unable to let you go even though uh the two of you broke up so many times yeah they have hope they have some hope there's always hope right but both people need to put work into it right yeah um they don't know what to think what you thinking, what you feeling, what you planning, what you hoping to see. This is then very emotionally attached. You guys have spent many lifetimes together because this is two, this is four, making it six. They don't even understand why they're missing you so much. Past life connection on a subconscious level, they remember past life connections, relationships that the two of you had. 
in those lifetimes. They're still very connected emotionally from those past lifetimes. This is them feeling beat up by this relationship, exhausted, but still willing to fight for this relationship, but not knowing if that's what you want or not. You guys, yeah, you guys don't communicate effectively at all. You see this? This is almost absence of communication. Yeah, the two of you need to really communicate much, much, much better openly, uh, put everything on the table to figure out if this is really going to be uh, a new beginning of truly the end. <clears throat> yeah, they feel a lot of guilt for the mistakes they've made. They feel regretful, heartbroken. They're questioning whether you still love them or not. Hmm. They feel kind of insecure here in this reading. Universe, please show us... Um, Hmm. Interesting. You guys are going through so much. I'm sorry you're going through so much in this relationship, both of you. You know, please show us um, hmm, what's going on currently with that summit of Libra. Wow. They think very highly of you. Look at this. Ten of Pentacles. Somebody new entering your life, Libra. <clears throat> but, you know, you have free will to decide whether you want to give this person a new beginning a new soulmate, a chance, be alone for a while. That's totally up to you. You have free will to decide all that good stuff. Yeah, new soulmate entering your life. Beautiful. Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. You really <clears throat> haven't decided yet 100% if you're really completely done with this relationship or not. Yeah, you haven't decided. Yeah. You guys have karma together to balance, lessons to learn from each other, unfinished business from past lifetimes. Yeah, you see this? Justice. So if you decide to exercise your free will in this relationship in such a way where you decide to completely let them go this time for good, you're going to pick up where you leave off in the next incarnation because there's still lessons for the two of you in this relationship. But universe, higher power, respect your free will choices. Okay, so if you decide to let them go, you let them go. Either way, you're going to decide what's best for you. Yeah, you're going to take actions that you feel are best for you in this situation. We're going to go into your extended reading, Libra. Obviously, we're going to ask about this soulmate, but new soulmate as well. That's coming up for you that showed up just now as Ten of Pentacles with Nine of Cups. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you at this time. What they're planning long-term. Then we're going to ask what they're currently hiding from you, whether purposely or can communicate for whatever reason. But the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time. And anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmate entering your life. The Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Energy, New Chapters, New Beginnings in Your Life, also Your Health, Finances, Business, Job, Opportunities, Family Matters, Friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Libra, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.